Welcome, guys. We are going to do 7-7, practice and problem solving over the surface area of pyramids. My name is Jason Jacobs, and this is Bubbles. And we're going to help you with your homework today. And I got my dry erase board. I recommend having a uh, calculator or phone and a math notebook to help you with this. Let's get started. So with surface area, you remember what we did with nets on 7-5? We uh, like unfolded them. And with this, you can see we have a square pyramid. We have a square on the bottom here, guys that we got to find the area of. And let me just unfold this for you. It will look like this when you unfold it into a net. This is 12 by 12. And then it looks like a ninja star. Okay, so we're unfolding it just like so. And now for the height of the triangle. The height is never this diagonal. No, that's the slant height. Uh, it is 14. Boom, 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 boom. And the height goes to a right angle, to perpendicular to the base. There's actually three heights and three corresponding um, bases, or three bases and three corresponding heights to every triangle. So I don't even know if you can see that there, but this is 12 and this is 14. And 12 times 12 is 144. So 144 square yards there. And then now one triangle here, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or one half the base times the height. One half 12 is six. And then times 14 is, I don't quite know that offhand. So no shame. We go uh, six times 14, and that's 84. So one triangle is 84 square yards, which means all these triangles here are 84 square yards so now we just go 84 times 4 because there's four of them and then plus 144 that's 480 square yards surface area is found in square yards volume is found in cubic yards that's to the third power square is to the second power for surface area and what did i say again help me out guys 480 Ooh, I did not want to have to do that again. 480 yards squared. All right, fantastic. Oh, that makes me feel so good when I get it right. These are hard. There's a lot that couldn't go wrong. So I hope this uh, helps you find the surface area of the pyramid here. Okay, let's do that. So it looks like a triangular pyramid. The base is a triangle and it comes up to a pyramid. It looks like this is seven. And that is seven. Okay. And then each three of these are seven by six and six hundredths, tenths, hundredths there. All right. Let me draw this out for you. And you guys work on it too. You guys draw yours out as well. I know yours will have different numbers. Now, it looks like an equilateral triangle, guys. Um, I wonder if they're saying that they all four are the same. Let's try it if all four of them are the same. Seven times six and six hundredths. Because I don't think this is a right angle to say that that's the base and that's the height. So we're going to see. Hey, Crosley. Bubbles is right here. He's he's doing something here with the piano. All right, Crosley. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or times um, one half. So I did seven times six and six hundredths, and then divided by two, and I got twenty-one and twenty-one hundredths. And now I'm going to multiply that by four. And I get, let's see if that's right. Six, 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 C. No, it says 84 and 84 hundredths. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so all those triangles it work. It does not say 60. Oh, you wrote something different. 
you typed. Are you going to do homework with me? How are you doing with mommy on your homework? Good. I'm already all done. I was wondering if you want to make veggie tail characters. Oh, tell everyone that you like veggie tails, huh? I like veggie tails. <laughs> I was wondering if you wanted to. I was wondering if you like to make veggie tail houses with me, Dad. I do. I do. Can I do this with my students real quick, please? Here, Crosby, if I unfold this square pyramid, guess what happens? What? It looks like a ninja star. <laughs> Watch. See, this is, uh, no, this is four here. So this is a square pyramid, four by four. And now um, let's just do four times four is 16, okay, guys? So we have 16 there. And then... It looks like a ninja throwing star. These should all be congruent. And the height is eight. Comes perpendicular to the base. So four times eight is 32. And then divide it by two is 16. So each one of these triangles represents 16. Just coincidentally, it won't always be this way. So we have four 16s and then another 16. That's five 16s. That's just a coincidence. It might not work for you. Can you guys see that? Sorry, Crosley. I'm trying to teach here. Here, why don't you go to play your, with your veggie tails? Be really gentle with bubbles. All right. So I did 16 times five in, in my case, I know yours is different and got 80. Oh, have you ever done that? I like did it and they don't even want. Them. Oh, God. It's embarrassing, guys. So the square in the middle is six, four times four. And then the height is eight. All right. So four. Let's see. That goes four and four. And then the height is eight. Oh, they're saying that this is four. So no way. That's two. Nope. That's four. This is one. Good try, guys. I'm trying to trick us here. Okay, this one says the height is eight. That looks copacetic. And this is saying four, so I think it's that one. No, okay, yep. You see? There it is. And we got 80 for the surface area. So that work was not a waste. Okay. Oh, what? Just, just one more. One more, guys. All right, same type of question. Five times five for the area of the base here. And then it goes, the height is seven. So let's see. So it's five by five. That says, nope. That says that that's seven. Nope. They tried to trick us. See, they switched those. All right, this one here, five by five. And then the height is seven. So there's that net. They love these type of questions. These are good questions. Like Envision really does do some good questions. All right. So now five times five. He's right here. Wait, where did he go? He's not right here. Did he? Did he jump off? Did you take him? Did he disappear? Well, I know I'm magic. He's he's in my magic shows. Seriously, Crosby, where is he? Can you find him, please? Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to figure out where Bubbles went. Did you guys see him behind me? Where did he go? All right. Crosby's saying he found him. So this is 5 by 5. So the center is 25. I'm going to write that here. The square is 25. And then 5 times 7 is – I'm going to teach you a little hack that I do. Now you do 5 times 7 – Divide it by 2 and then times 4. But instead of dividing by 2 and multiplying by 4, what I do as an adult is I go 5 times 7. And then instead of dividing by 2, I just times it by 2 because that will get all four triangles. 5 times 7 is 35. And then times 2 is 70, which will get all four triangles. So I do 25 plus 70. That's 95. 95 feet squared. I hope that little tip helped you. 95 feet squared.
right, it did. Hey, thanks guys for watching and doing your work with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. Oops, forgot to stop it. <laughs>